Hey everyone, Flying Duchy here and welcome to Manor Lords. We are having a preview key, so thank you Hooded Horse for sending it to me. Uh, but before we go, the game is still in development, so there will be bugs and things are not fully complete. Uh, the game comes out on the 26th, I think, so in 13 days or 11 days, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, thanks for sending me the early access of 0 0.7, so not version 1. And uh, we are going to do uh, a long campaign, I guess, and uh, test this game out. So, uh, yeah. Now, we are going to start a new game. And the first thing we need to do is make our portrait and our coat of arms. So, uh, let's see over here. Who is me? Let's, let's go with this guy. He has a bit of orange, right? I like orange. And uh, I will make my coat of arms. I will be back when I am finished. Alright, I am back. I just created this. I think it looks uh, fancy. Just a bit random, but I guess it's fine. And we are gonna be, of course, Dutchy. The one and only Dutchy is gonna play this game. Can you believe it? Gonna start a new game. And at the start of the game, there are three templates, at least at the early access map over here. Uh, there will be more coming later, um, because there will be AI city building, but they are working on it. So there are three uh, scenarios, Rise to Prosperity. Uh, with this one, there will be no combat. Now. I would love to go with combat, so we're not going to go with this one. This is the normal scenario, I think. There will be an enemy on the map and you have to make militia and conquer more uh, regions. And this is uh, on the edge, that is the harder difficulty. So let's just go with the restoring peace. And let's just go with the default settings. I think that is a good idea for the first run. Uh, I'm going in a little bit blind. I, l I know a little bit how the game works. Just at the beginning. And uh, yeah, if you want to look for a quick... Uh, glamps and this is not the right uh, playthrough because I will go over things slowly uh, I sometimes maybe pause or speed up the game but I will uh, play this in a slow pace to learn how everything works so uh, be prepared for that and uh, yeah let's just start the game here now I can already tell you that the game looks really nice uh, you can have very high graphics I have it on high not on ultra because uh, my, my computer is getting very hot but yeah, there we are. Uh, we're not going to talk over everything at the same time because that will be a tutorial. We're just going to start playing. Uh, we have a new message. So, we, the victory condition for dominance is build up your town and your manor. And when you're ready, press claims towards regions owned by your opponents. Once a claim has been pressed, be ready for battle. The objective is claim all opponents' regions. Now, what do they mean with that? Before we go over this thing, I guess. Well, maybe this thing will go away. So let's do this thing first. So, we have families in this game. Uh, we have five families. Currently, we have five families and ten population. When they are going into a... Let's pause the thing before things go wrong. Uh, when they are going into a house, there will be three for each family. So then we get 15 population when they all have a house. And everything goes by family in this game. Uh, and yeah, we need food and fuel. Uh, we can hover over this thing here, and then we can see for how long we have food and for how long we have fuel. Now, we have no fuel consumption because we have no houses yet, but that will come later. Um, here we can also see all our construction stuff, food, what we have. We have only 20 breads at the moment, so we have to work on that. Uh, we have 20 firewood ready, so at the start of the game we have a little bit of firewood so that we can get uh, going. And uh, yeah, crops, crafting mat materials, the commodities are over here, and all the military stuff. Which is going to be amazing. Um, yeah, and there's livestock. You need livestock for at least uh, uh, doing some construction and, and uh, do the supplies over here. The, the timber, you need to uh, use your oxes for that to move that over the map. So it's going to be very interesting. And uh, yeah, so we need food and fuel. We can see that at the supplies thing here. Okay, we know it. Now, what do they mean with conquer all the regions? When you zoom out, you can already see that we have this tile over here. So what do we have here? We have berries. A rich deposit. So that's going to be fantastic for us. So we are going to gather berries for food. Uh, we have a clay deposit. We have wild animals. We have stone. And we have iron. So we have a lot of things actually in our... Uh, home region that's going to be very helpful but when I zoom out more 
then yeah, we will also get a uh, thing here. This view shows you which regions are under your whose control. You can press claims to other regions when you have enough influence. Now that will come later. But uh, this one is for example owned by... I think Hildeboard. Can't really see that. You can also click on them. And talk to him. But we have no influence. I don't think I can do anything yet, but you can claim these regions from the outlaws, I guess, or the bandits. And yeah, for example, over here, uh, they also have berries, they also have clay, and they also have stone, iron, and wild animals. So they have exactly the same as what we have. So we would love to go to uh, towards a uh, yeah a, a state where we have something new, really. But here there are some bridges. Ooh, can I see them on the map? Yes. So, we have to kill these, I guess, when we want to take the thing down. But it's going to take a, a, a while, because we need to build up. And the goal is to take these two regions, I think, from uh, my opponent. Something like that. Not sure. I'm going in semi-blind. Okay. Uh, my town is over there. You can actually see that on this view. It looks really cool. Like it's on a... On a uh, uh, drawing map. Okay. Well, what are we going to do first, Dutchie? Well, uh, we have food for four months, right? So I think it is very important for us that we are going to... Uh, well, first of all, we're going to get uh, burgage plots so that we have houses. And um, yeah, we have to make fuel and food. That's going to be the first thing to do. We only have five families, so... Let's see how we're going to plan everything here. Now, when you open the construction window, you get another pop-up here. Uh, be sure to check all the resource deposits. Well, we did that. And the soil fertility before you are deciding what you're going to do. So, for the underground water, we need this to build a well on. So, we can build a well when we make our town over here. And I think I'm going to stay here next to this road. I think it's a nice spot. We are close to the berries as well. Uh, Emmer, I think that is wheat. So we can uh, have, we have a very high fertility for wheat, for flax not so much, but it's a bit green. Barley, little bit. Rye is good, so we we can actually do some farming over here. Uh, where are we gonna start building our plots? Let's just plot down my houses here. Now, how does that work in this game? Uh, you need to make a grid of four, and then you can change how you want to build your uh, houses. So let's just see how that goes. Uh, let's see. Now, there will be a market. I want to build a market a bit in the middle. Let's, let's just build some houses over here, I guess. So if I do this, then this will be the front. You don't have enough goods, I know. Now, you can press the plus and minus button to get less houses. And this is what I want. And why do I want this? One, we get a house. Two, we get a garden where you can uh, make your people uh, get their own farms, get a chicken farm, goats, and later on their own blacksmith and stuff. So, so they just become artisans. And there is a room for a second house. So uh, you want this symbol, this one, and this one. If I do this, there will be no second house. So that is a bit of a waste of space. If you can call it waste of space, because it doesn't matter in this game, I guess. Um, and this is just wasting some space between, but it looks better. So that's also something. So I guess we're going to go with this. We're going to build six of them. And then we have uh, six more houses for the people that are coming. So we have 12, room for 12 families eventually. Now we don't have enough goods, so I can't click. Uh, we only have... I think eight timber, so we cannot make this many uh, houses at the moment, so we have to uh, actually do this differently. We also turn it around. We have to make it a little bit smaller at the start. Oh. Let's start with three of them. A house, extra house and a garden. I guess that is a small enough garden. Well, actually, I want to make it a bigger. I want to make a bigger garden. A 
like this. So that will be built. Uh, unassigned families will work on this. So we have five unassigned families, that is this number, and they are going to work on construction. And they are going to use the ox to transport timber. We need this ox over here to transport one timber. This is one timber, one of these logs or trees. Or it's just timber. And uh, yeah, we need two for each house, so that's going to take a while. Um, but what I will do is uh, lower the construction priority of these, because the most important thing is that we're going to get more timber. You can see we have two timber left. When you click this button, you can see how much you have laying around, but this is what you have extra after building. So we have two timber left. And we need to make sure that we are going to get more timber. So I'm gonna go and chop this wood away, so we have a nice patch of land where we can build our town. And we are gonna build a logging camp. They're gonna take down all these things here. Now how do you turn around? You just left click and then uh, do it like this. And... Please don't unroot any trees, there we go. And we are gonna build a road. Now roads, yeah, you can also... Use that to co connect your buildings and you need to do this because carts will go quicker over roads. Now there is a road here. So what if we are going to connect everything here. Boom. And then connect you over there. There we go. So timber requires oxen to be moved. Villages will automatically get the ox when they need it. Yeah. Okay, let's unpause the game. We are in March. This is all the uh, season, so we are in spring. Seasonal deposits regrow, crops grow, etc. Uh, this will be the most important thing, because we need more wood to build more houses. And we need more houses to get more families and to have everyone in a house before the winter. Now, I will play on fast forward times four. The game goes very slow. Uh, but yeah, there you can see we have brought one timber, but we need two. And there they are. They are starting to build because all the families that don't are not assigned are going to build. And there's the second timber. There we go. So we have all the timber and that actually means that this uh, this building will be up and running very quickly. It's going to be uh, very nice. You can actually see the stages of building. I love to see that actually. Just tick 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 tick. Who's using the auger? I need to drill holes for the pegs. You need to drill holes in the planks. Did he say that? I think he did. But yeah, this will make sure that we get more timber because we have zero. All our timber is now uh, used. Can I also stop the construction? Don't think we can. No. Okay, there we go. The construction is finished. This building has no assigned families. Select it and assign a family whenever you'd like to start production. So we will assign one of our families. Boom. And this family, that are these two people, are going to work on it. And they are going to fell a tree. And then we get more timber. And when they fell a tree, we need the ox to put it over here to our storage. We can have 28 timber stored in the logging camp. Well, human workforce has to be assigned by default. Livestock workforce is shared. So we have one ox. It's shared by bringing stuff to our uh, houses. But it's also used to bring the, the timber to this part here. Um, what you can do is assign livestock to a building. That is possible. Now, let's uh, keep getting a building here. So we do have timber. We now need to make sure that we are going to get some food. So what can we do for food in this game? Well, we can do... Forester is to get new trees. We can do a hunting camp and wild, hunt wild animals for meat and hides. Now, the wild animals are all the way over here. And we are very lucky with a very big berry deposit. So let's not go with the hunting camp, but we are going with the forager hut. Workers gather berries from nearby berry deposits. Now we can't build it because we have no timber. So maybe I should just cancel one of these. But yeah. I wish there was an option to uh, postpone a building. I don't think there is. 
No. That would be... Oh, past the building. Past the building. Yeah, but then we don't have timber. No, it doesn't work. That is annoying. So we need to wait for the logging camp now. Because they are now they, they fell a tree and now they are debranching the tree. And then when that is done, we get a timber. And then we need to wait for the ox to bring the timber over here, I think. Well maybe it counts when it's laying on the map as well. Not really sure. Let's see how this goes. There we go. Debranching the trees. So to speak too. Okay, is that laying on the map? Okay, yeah. This is a timber. It's debranched and it's felled and debranched. Now they're felling another tree. And there we go. There is our second timber on the map. And it's now showing over here. So we don't need to bring it to a storage. So we have two timber. So now we can get our forager hut. So let's bring this close to the berries. Let's do it this way. Uh, preferably, I don't want to chop so many tree so let's build it here and we are gonna build a road why not there we go burgage plots homeless will move to the plot so we have one house now you can see it over here we have one living space and if approval is high enough this one needs to be above 50 it might attract new families However, families need more than just space to be happy. Click on the building to check their requirements. Okay, so this is our house, our first house that is built. Uh, we have two people here uh, residing. There will be a third one coming from out of nowhere, because they are now having a house. Um, and yeah, they need water access. They need a church level close to it. And there needs, there needs to be market supplies. Um, things go with markets in this game. And all the people that are working somewhere, for example the foresters, and the berry uh, thing here. They are going to make a stall on the market and sell their goods over there. And when a house is in range. Or actually when a house is there. Uh, and the market is there. We will tick this off. Then we can upgrade the house to the next level. When you upgrade the house to the next level. The family will go to the next level. Uh, but you need families of all levels. So that is going to be very important. So what did we just do? We have built a house. But we have a... Uh, a spot for an expanding living space that's going to be here, a smaller house. And this button is the backyard extension. We have a huge backyard. And in this backyard we can do a couple of things. Uh, people can have their own vegetable garden. They can have their own chicken coop or a goat shed. So what I like to do at the start of the game is spend my wealth, because we have 50, to... Click a couple of these things, because this is some extra food types, and people like different kinds of food. It's also good against diseases. So what I will do is, uh, I'm going to get a vegetable garden over here. And in another plot I'm going to do maybe the goats or the chickens. And this way we will get some extra food. And uh, yeah, that is the start of the game here. Um, are you guys... Ah, they are working on the uh, forager hut, nice. Uh, when that is done, you guys can work on the next houses over here. There we go. They're building a very nice wooden building here. And it's built. Well, almost. Some things are added over here. Over there. Stairs. And there we go. The construction is finished. And now we're going to assign a family. And this family is going to uh, harvest the berries. And when there will be when they will be in a house, there will be three people working over here. Maybe one goes to the market, the other one is going to uh, send the goods to a storage that I don't have yet, or and the other ones are going to uh, get the berries. So very nice. You're going to get a lot of berries over here. And uh, yeah, we have a new message. Oh. I have heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my rights and my honor against those who would wrong me. 
I hope you will not judge me by the rumors and slanders that some may spread about me. It's Hildebord, my opponent. Now you can end the conversation, you can ride back. But I don't think that works yet. Oh, you have to drag this. Okay, that is the first time I figured this out. Okay, that's not working and I cannot do a war surprise. So uh, we will ride back. You have no rightful claim to sell bits and Hofstetten. That's the only thing I can do, and we send this back. Letter sent. <laughs> so he has no rights on these two regions, that's what we just told him. He's not gonna like that, but we already know that we will be enemies, so... Yeah. Can I actually see his towns? No, there are no towns on this... It's not working yet, so would love to see uh, the AI building later in this uh, dispatch over here. Okay, do we have a lot of timber? We have two timber left. Uh, is my ox helping? Oh, my ox is uh, bringing the supplies that I had to the logging camp where there is a uh, storage. And uh, I think it's time to build a market so that people can put some stalls. So let's go to... Where is that? Is it logistics? Residential? There's the well. There you go, marketplace. Doesn't cost anything. Provide space for the assigned families to set up their stalls and distribute their produce to the burger slots. So we are going to build a market. Uh, am I just gonna build it next to this road here? I think I am. Why is it giving such weird spots over here? Not sure. Maybe when it's not close to the road it's better? No. It's just going to be like this. Okay, well, we're gonna do it like this then. Yeah. That will look nice, like a nice market and let's just build a road around it. So this is a market later in the game, how they're gonna look like. It's going to be amazing. A well-supplied marketplace is the lifeblood of your town. Assigned families will set up stalls automatically. Yeah. As long as there is enough space on the market. Hover over specific categories to check your current supply and demand and the burgage plots my houses close to the market get their market requirements fulfilled first right there we go nice road around the market and we will build some, uh, some things around it, maybe even houses or something or something else. We will see. Now we do have some supplies laying over here. We do have our breads. We have some firewood over here. Uh, we have stone and tools. And the, they need to go to a storage house. So we should not forget about that. Because rain and stuff is going to deteriorate it. Uh, food goes into the granary and the rest is going to the storehouse. And there we go, we already have a food stall. Hey, we have a food stall. Now, there is nothing over here yet. Because they are somewhere else, I guess. Yeah, I can't see the lines. But uh, yeah, there's where the food is going. Now, let's just go and uh, finish those houses. I think that's going to be the most important thing. And since we have two more... Uh, I don't like that. Oh, that's going to be a very big plot, isn't it? That is what I don't like. I, Even if I turn out of snap tools, it's still snapping. I don't want this to snap now, but it's still snapping. So apparently that is not working. Because this cannot make a nice uh, two-house plot here. And I, that is what I really, really and really don't like about this. The snapping is still snapping while I don't want it to snap. Over here then. Okay, that is better, right? Not wasting too much space. Let's build it over there. But yeah, I need to build one over there. Now, I'm going to cancel this road. And build the house first. I think that's too big, right? Yeah, we can do a little bit smaller. 
it's not over here then. There we go. Oh. That is what I don't like. So, the snapping is still happening. Are you guys uh, getting the berries? Yeah, we have 10 berries uh, sitting. And uh, that should increase my food. Yeah, we have 9 berries and 17 breads. They should go to the, to the stall here. And now we can soon see that the people that are in this house will have their food completed. We need one type of food in the marketplace or two types. So That will come uh, eventually. Now this house is also finished. They are working on their own farm over here. You can see that they have their one type of food now. Because this one is closer to the market I guess than this one. Okay. Um, we are going to build an extension here. What do I go for? I have 35 wealth left. I can get a chicken coop or a goat shed. The goat shed gives us hides that we can turn into cloth. Hmm. Well, if I'm going to start hunting the animals, that's going to be very far away. How's that going to work when it's so far away? No idea. Um, not sure guys what I should put here. If I'm gonna hunt my uh, wild animals, I will get clothing over there. So maybe we should just go with the chickens. What we also can do is get another ox. That is at the hitching post. I didn't show that yet. That's over here. We have stable space for one, but we can order another ox or a horse. Oh, we have enough for a horse. But then we need to upgrade this to a small stable and we need planks for it. And we can't make planks because we don't have the right building. So getting another livestock is not going to work at the start of the game. Maybe we should just get the eggs. From a chicken coop. There we go. I think that is fine. Nice. Good amount of uh, food coming in. Now, these things will, will grow. Is it me? These vegetables. And I guess when it's later, we are going to harvest them. I think it's showing over here. Yeah, and I guess in autumn we are going to harvest. Yeah, in September, October and November. We are going to harvest all the crops. Okay. We have two families assigned. One is doing timber and the other one is doing berries. Uh, let's go to speed uh, four and let's make sure that we are going to finish our houses. So that we can get our approval up and running. Because the real, real thing what we want is more families. Okay, there we go. There is the message. Uh, family members join one of the settlers. Burgage plot one. So when they go into a house, you only have two, but you will have three people. Because the one from abroad is coming. Because they uh, write a letter or something. Hey, we have a house here. You should come here. Okay. And then they are there. Uh, I think the next thing that we need to make is some firewood. Because the firewood, the fuel, is going down when we have more houses. And we can only make firewood when we have the right building. And we need to make sure that we have a granary and a storage house. So maybe we should focus on that first, actually. So the granary is over here. We need 10 stone for it. We do have it and 2 timber. Uh, and the workers collect and distribute the goods using the pantry. And they can also put a market uh, stall on the uh, marketplace. And this is where we store our food, so maybe we should put it a bit over here next to the, closer to the berries. Yeah. Should I put it like this to the, to the market? Yeah, let's do it like this. So, when this house is built, we're gonna build this thing. Okay, and then we just have to go and speed it up. So yeah, the homelessness will go away and when you have different foods in the food stall, 
then you get more approval and then more people can come. So there we go. We can see the berries in these things. And we have one bread. Oh, we have 14 bread. It's just showing as one. Oh, they are bringing it here still. <laughs> just love to see how they build the houses. It looks amazing. Right? I love it. Okay, we need one more house, guys. It's almost finished. They're building the fences. And there we go. And that means that we are now level 2. Or level 1. And then we get a new development point. Because we did the objectives for our small village. If we go to the next objective, we need two level 2 plots. So, let's see how that will go uh, later. Uh, to get more population, you need to have enough empty burgers plots. And your approval needs to be nets needs to be over 50%. So uh, the homelessness will go away now because everyone is having a house. Uh, but if you want more families, we need more houses. Now, that is why I always want to have an expanded living space. So we're going to build uh, one extra at our farm, I guess. And we will need to use two timber, which we just had. And then we have room for another family. They will live in a smaller house, but... I guess it's not, not giving a penalty, so let's go for it. Um, yeah, we can do this to every house. We can expand our living uh, space on it. Um, so, we have leveled up, so you can click on your town here. You can specialize your region. After you reach the next settlement level, you will be granted a development point. To spend, unlock development branches to make your region more efficient. To enact policies, you need to rise your administration level. Now, we, we don't know what that is yet, but we're going to get uh, a manor at some point. And uh, yeah, there we go. We can also rename our town over here. And we are going to call this Dutchyville. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> and uh, yeah. It's locked in early access. Okay, we are still in early access. But not the full game, what I just said. It's an early access game. And which way do we want to go? Okay, this is the whole shield. Uh, we can get trade logistics. Now we don't doing any trade yet, so I guess not going to go over that one. Uh, foreign suppliers, new building a firewood cart, a permanent market stall which provides a passive income of firewood. And bread. Interesting. This is more trading, I think. This is more combat, as you can see at the background. Furnace, blacksmithing. Uh, this is uh, a mere, more economy, I think. We have bees, we have trees, we have other things here. And what is this? Farming, I think. And plowing. So maybe we should go over here. Forest manager doubles the capacity of all berry deposits. Well, we already have such a big deposit. I don't think it's going to help us. Trapping. Enables hunters to skillfully lay traps in the forest to get more meat. Interesting. Beekeeping. Workers collect honey. Every region can sustain up to two apiaries by default. Placing more will not increase the yield. So we could get honey with a beekeeper. An orchard, an orchardry. Apple orchards. It's going to take a long time because they need to grow. As you can see at the warning. Sheep breeding, sheep grazing on the pastures slowly multiply. But I guess we need to order sheep. I don't know. Heavy plow. Plowing station. Hmm. Basic armor making. Now we're not going to do that at the start of the game. And then charcoal burning. Converts one firewood into two charcoal. Yes, but... We don't have a firewood building at all at the moment, so... Hmm, maybe we should get the beekeeping. I, I think I like this. Let's see how that goes. Can I also cancel? No, you cannot undo a decision. Alright. Beekeeping, huh? Ah, it's showing up here now. Uh, we need two planks for it. Workers collect honey. Every region can sustain up to two. So I would love to get the apiary. But we need planks. For planks, we need a saw pit. But we also need firewood, so uh, we need to get more timber. And the next thing that we are going to build is the uh, woodcutter's lodge so that we can make our own firewood. The firewood we have right now 
It's only gonna last for three more months. Uh, it's over here. Because the more houses you get, the more you need. And I guess it's going to be very helpful to build close to my logging camp. Maybe over here. Okay, they are working on the granary. So we can store our food. Do we have more breads over here? No, just bre two breads. And... Uh, oh, we have three breads and four berries. So, berries is one basket. In this food stall. Okay, looking good. So we have a couple of warnings. Exposed goods for the for the pantry. Uh, goods stored are here are vulnerable for weather damage. That is my food supplies from the start of the game. And you can see that they are already bringing it to where they where it needs to go. And we also have goods here that needs to go to a storehouse. So stone, the tools and the firewood need to go to the storehouse. And the breads need to go to the granary or to the food stall. So yeah, the granary is almost built, and then we are going to build a uh, storage room as well. One lock in the storage. Oh yeah, we are upgrading this plot over here. We're going to build a second house so that we can get an extra family coming in. But yeah, we need 50 approval for it. Okay, there was some saving. Let's go and uh, speed up the game here. See when this thing is getting built. There we go. And by building the granary, we get new mercenary companies. Now, there you can make armies in this game, but let's not do this right now because we need to use our population for other things. I'm not sure if militia is going to work and wait until it's getting called to go to arms. I think that is what militia is. So I don't think you have a standing army. You only have militia. Uh, but you can also hire mercenaries. Uh, we can get uh, heavy mercen mercenary archers and light mercenary archers. Infantry and spearmen and, and brigands, local thugs. You can see we need to uh, spend money and we don't have that. So we will go to that later. But yeah, there is some real-time combat in this game and that is going to be amazing. Okay, we have a normal approval. And uh, yeah, we can also assign a family to the granary, and then that family will uh, bring the food to the granary. They will also go to the uh, forager hut and clear the pantry that is over here. Oh, we have so much berries over there. It's really, really nice to see. We have nine months of, fu of uh, food, so that's going fine. Let's focus on our fuel next, because um, we are running low. So we're going to go with the... Uh, uh, the woodcutter's lodge. So we have a logging camp to make timber. And we're gonna use the timber in the woodcutter's lodge to make firewood. Oh, I can actually fit it over here, I think. Yeah. I like that. And let's give this a higher priority because uh, we only have two months left of fuel. You can see this number going red. That means that we have only two uh, left. Uh, are you guys... Yeah, there we go. So the people that are working at the granary are now uh, bringing the supplies over there. Now, they can only bring one at a time, I think. Yeah, so it's going to take a while, but let's um, let them work at the granary until the goods are actually stored over there. Going to bring another timber. Very nice. And I think that will be a nice moment to end this first episode. We have a good start. And make sure to like, uh, tell what you think about the game in the comment section. Uh, it all helps by uh, uh, people finding this video. So uh, that would be really appreciated. And then I see you guys in the next episode, guys. Bye bye.